Hello there and welcome back. In today's lessons we will go through the horizontal envelopes, the straight and curved curtain wall and the roof object with these properties. So let's start with this object which we can use to draw different types of slabs in our project. From an operational point of view, the horizontal envelope is defined by setting vertex nodes and using the drawing snap aids we can shape its perimeter but we can also define an angle and then just type in the correct value of our segment, like for example 5 meter in this case. Then, in order to close our perimeter, we just have to right click on the table and select the finish button. Or we can also choose the finish button from the toolbar. Now select the envelope and let's check its properties from the right panel. Here we have the characteristic box, in which we can modify the name, for example, we can name it Slabs 1 or Slabs First Floor. Then we have the Material Layer Composition options. So by clicking this button we can open the editor for the Material Layer Composition. And with the second button we will access the general section of the Beam Object Library regarding the horizontal envelopes. For example, we can choose this Material Layer Composition, which is 295 mm thick and then just click apply. Then again we can modify the thickness directly from here by typing the desired value. Now let's click Alt F2 from the keyboard in order to open two windows simultaneously so we can better see the alignment functions. As you can see right now the alignment point coincides with the upper surface of the envelope but we can change its positions just by clicking here in the center or even in the lower face of the envelope. Now let's click again Alt F2 in order to fully open the 3D view. Now select the envelope so we can check the curvature functions. And as you can see by clicking here we assign a curvature in this direction. But we can also click this button in order to change the curvature direction. Then we have the classification. And as seen before we can make groups of objects that share the same properties. Right now the envelope is an horizontal object, but from the geometry section we can decide to change the pitch of the object. For example by choosing a pitching method, a simple line. Now you can see this new arrow which represents our pitch line. And we can move it by grabbing the blue dot of the first point. Then we can grab the second blue dot in order to choose a direction and length of our pitch line. Now from the 3D view we can change the elevation of the two points, but of course we can change the inclination directly from the right toolbox by typing the correct value, or even by typing directly the dimension of the point 1 and point 2. Then we have this other option that allows us to change the inclination accordingly to three points. And of course we can change the position of this three point horizontally and vertically. From the right panel we can change the coordinates or the elevation of each point. Here we have the elevation reference systems and as seen before we can change the level of this object but also the elevation referring to this level. Here we have the material section, again from the three surfaces of the envelopes the layers related to the drawing models, the aspect that allow us to change the color or eventually lock the object, the IFC properties and the attachment. Now let's see some other properties of the horizontal envelope. For example how to edit the object perimeter. So select the segment and right click with the mouse and we can convert the segment into an arc. But we can also add the new nodes and as seen before we can have the same options from this menu here on the toolbar. So convert into arc, add or delete node, or we can even add an offset to the perimeter by clicking here. For example we want to enlarge the envelope of 1 meter. Now let's have a look at the curtain wall. Modeled as always with two simple clicks, the starting and the ending point. Click Alt F2 from the keyboard to rearrange the view into windows. As you can see here from the 3D view, the curtain wall is similar to the wall, but is made from a vertical or horizontal repetition of panels. 
Those panels are made from different material, but commonly are made of glass. So by selecting the object, we can see the right panel contain almost the same properties of the vertical envelope. So here we have the model of the courting wall. By clicking the first button, we will access the editor. And as before, the three dotted button will allow us to access the BIM object library. Let's select one model from this preview, for example this one, and click apply. As you can see, the shape of the curtain wall is changing accordingly to our model, both in 2D and 3D view. As for the vertical envelope, also here, we can change the alignment of the object from the property toolbox here, or by clicking F5 and F6 from the keyboard. We can change the vertical shape of the object, but we can also invert the side of the curtain wall from internal to external by clicking this button. It's also possible to assign a seal. Then from the repetition box, we can define if the repetition of the panel should start from the center or should be aligned to the left or the right side of the curtain wall. It's also possible to assign a measure resection to our curtain wall. For example, we can type in 500 millimeters here on the left side and as you can see, a measure resection will appear on the side of the curtain wall. Of course, we can do the same from the right side, but also for the lower and upper side of the curtain wall. Same as for the vertical envelope, and we will have a black arrow pointing from the point 1 to the point 2. Again, we have the length and then the direction. We have the elevation reference systems, the function that allows us to modify the position of the curtain wall, both horizontally and vertically. And here we have the material section which is quite different from the previous one. Because as you can see the curtain wall is made from multiple parts. For example we have the fixtures, the seals, the glasses, the wall and so on. The other sections are exactly the same of the vertical envelopes. We will delete this and see how to deal with a corded curtain wall. Again a first click set the start point. Then type in a distance value or just click for the final point and a third click to set its curvature. By default, the software will choose the simple repetition typology, but again, we will access the BIM object library to select the type of model that we need for our project. For example, I like to insert this one and then just apply. So let's see again the properties from the right panel. We will have the masonry part with the material layer composition and thickness, and they can choose, for example, 700 millimeters for the lower part, but also for the other side of the curtain wall, while the other properties of the section are exactly the same of the straight curtain wall. Then by right-clicking over the object, we will have this menu that allows us to add an upper profile so we can change the elevation of the various nodes. Again, we can add intermediate nodes, and we can also add a lower profile and change its properties. Then coming back to the 2D view, we can delete this object by clicking the delete button from the keyboard, but also by right click the mouse over the object and select the delete button. Another useful vertical enclosure is the dummy envelope, but we will talk about this object in further lessons. Now let's start talking about roof. We can select the proper object from the object menu, then we can go to the roof level from the navigator panel. Now we need to define the roof perimeter just by positioning vertex nodes. Again, it's very easy to type in the correct distance directly from the keyboard. So for example, we can define this general roof shape by clicking the finish button, we will access the roof editor. In this new windows, we can work to add all the objects that define our roof. So for example, we will have the roof slopes, then we have the apertures on the slopes, but also the function to make hole inside the perimeter of the roof. And then we have the eve function. But let's see how to draw a slope. So select the object from the menu. Then we can activate different snap function, for example this middle point. So we can start to add first point here, in the middle of the segment, just insert a second point on the opposite side. Then we can just add the other nodes and click the finish button. We just follow the same procedure in order to insert the second slope. 
now we will probably want to change the inclination of the slopes as right now they are horizontal and to do so we just need to define an elevation from the initial point 1 and for the point 2 as well so by grabbing the nodes we can change the position of the line and now we can modify the elevation of this two point which is referred to the roof level for example I want to move up the point 2 of the slope of one and a half meter they can do the same even for the other slopes now let's see some other function related to the roof. The point 2 and point 1 elevation can be adjusted also from the 3D view, just by grabbing the relative node. We can also see there are other green nodes, which are the lower point 1 and lower point 2. So we can easily define the internal elevation of the roof. Then we have this green cone that allows us to move vertically the entire slope. With regard to the slope, we can also change the pitching method from a line to a three point pitching which I already discussed for the horizontal envelope. So we need to change the position of the three nodes and just change the elevation. Now let's see the second object of our menu. Again we just need to define the perimeter of the aperture by positioning vertex nodes and then just click the finish button. Now let's have a look at the eve function. We need to click a first time on the perimeter of the roof then a second click over the segment we want to modify and then just define a direction and a distance value that we can add by typing directly from the keyboard or just by clicking on the table. By selecting the sieve we can see some properties on the right panel. For example we can change the material layer composition but we can also define the shape of the section of the eave. For example this horizontal typology. Now that we have inserted all the objects we need we can leave the editor just by clicking the finish button. But let's suppose we need a different roof typology. What we need to do now is just select the roof object and click the edit roof button. So we are back in the editor mode. From here we just need to click the auto pitch function, then choose a roof inclination, for example 35% and then just click apply. In this way we can automatically obtain a pitched roof.